hello everyone how you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing great if this is the first time you're seeing my video hi my name is etusa you're welcome to my youtube channel and please if you know that you are watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed yet already please do not forget to hit the red subscribe button down below and please if you know that you subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification button so you will be notified whenever i'm dropping a new video and if you are my returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today i love you guys i mean god bless you all so guys in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make effective pink lip balm so this pink lip balm is going to you know um lighten your lip make it pink within three to four days okay and if you are being consistent with it within two days you will definitely get a very you know quick result so i have all the ingredients i want to make use of today and which i'll be putting you guys through and also for those of you that you know that want to learn how to make pink lip balm you want to make money from this business you can actually use this recipe or you can also check out my previous video i think i have about three videos on how to make infertile pink lip balm on my channel do well to check it out you might also learn one or two from those videos and also for those of you that have been chatting me or privately telling me that you want to learn how to make pink lip balm i don't know why you want to spend extra money learning from me because i know that with all the recipe i've shared with you guys you can actually learn a lot from it you know so i don't know if you really want to be sure if those recipe do does work it's best for you to you know just do experiment play around with it just play around with it and you will know how far all right so now without talking too much let me quickly get right into this video first i have my missing bowl which i've already cleaned with alcohol and then i have my you know my little containers here and then i have my beaker i'm not sure if i'm going to make use of that but we're just going to continue doing what we are doing so now the best cream i'll be making use of is this carotone natural glow okay so this is a thick base and when making your pink lip balm you need a very thick base to be able to achieve your result because after you are done adding in your serums your oil you still need to maintain that thick consistency so that's why it's very important for you to use a thick base okay and then um you also have some other oils that you'll be adding into it so make sure you get a thick base and you can also buy other whitening um base in the market you can use carol white you can use carotin bsc you can use make me white cream okay so just check out my previous video i have different recipe there and you can learn a lot from them as well so now i have my carotin natural glow i'll be adding in about six tablespoons okay or probably i'll just be making everything all right so i just need a little i don't want to make too much so i'm filming this video at a very late hour so i don't know how bright it will be after you know editing this video i know the quality is going to reduce but you guys should just bear with me and then i have my Payment dough, okay. So I have my payment dough. This is optional, but this is going to make your pink lip balm work very, very fast. Okay, so I'm just going to be adding in a teaspoon. This is a teaspoon, guys. But since I use it to scoop the cream, you won't be sure the quantity that is going to give you. So I'll advise you just adding a little, okay. So this will go a long way. That's enough. And then the next ingredient I'll be adding into this cream is my sweet almond oil so, so this is going to help soften our lip and also is going to help heal your lip if you're a type of person that have cracked lips and the most important thing is going to moisturize your lip okay so i'll be adding in just a few drops don't add in too much so that your cream will not separate after you are done promising it so i'll just add in a little this is a bit too much okay i don't need too much because i still have other things i'll be adding into it so please just be careful don't add too much oils and then you don't add in too much serums and then the next thing i'll be adding into this recipe is vitamin e oil so vitamin e is an antioxidant which help our skin to heal very very fast and also it glows the skin and it treats the skin as well so this is going to help soften your lip and also it's going to help moisturize your lip and heal your lip okay so i'll be adding in just you know a little bit this is about half teaspoon so just adding a teaspoon okay and then the next thing i'll be adding into my pink lip balm is um snake extract now this is optional guys the reason why i'm adding this into it is because of some you know active ingredients or some um 
ingredient that my base contains because i know that it's not it's not a good cream yeah we all know that carotene is not 100 percent natural so that's why i'm adding in this next slime so that it can help you know help her protect help to protect our lip and then the next thing i'll be adding in is glycerin so this is going to help our product work faster and it's going to add moisture into our lip so i'll be adding in a little as well and then the next thing i'll be adding in is my extra virgin olive oil so now extra virgin olive oil helps to moisturize the skin it helps treat the skin you know it helps heal the skin and it helps rejuvenate the skin so in place of this extra virgin olive oil you can make use of shea butter okay shea butter is also a great um ingredient to add into your pink lip balm so i'm just going to be adding in a little okay that's enough so after applying this pink lip balm it's going to leave your leave your lip very very moisturized very soft and very very plumpy and then the next thing i'll be adding in in this aha so this is going to help exfoliate our lip and also it's going to help lighten our lip okay so if you don't have this you can get any other um serums that you know that helps to exfoliate the skin for example uh extra aha extra i think i will leave the picture on the screen if i can get it okay so you can also add that into your recipe as well okay so and you can also add in vitamin c uh serum the one that also looks like this i've used that in the past and it's very very great when it comes to pink lip balm so now when you are applying your pink lip but you also need your lip to moisture to exfoliate all right so that's the main reason why we are adding in this aha um this is too much like way way too much we just need a bit so i'm gonna throw this away i can't i can't put it inside the container so and then next thing that i'll be adding in is um this so guys this is optional okay this is optional don't ask me um what can i use to replace this i'm saying it right now this is optional it's not 100 percent um needed okay so what i'm adding this into this um recipe is because of people that have cracked lip i know there are some people that always have this you know cracked lip like a terrible one most of the time so just in case you want to make this and you want to sell it for your clients if paraventure you have some clients that have cracked lips already this will help heal their lip because this is a scar and acne mark remover gel so this really really help when it comes to scar very very great when it comes to scar and if you're the type of person that has stretch mark this will also help your stretch mark as well okay so that's why i'm adding this and for those of you that have pigmentation on your lip yes this will also help a lot so i'm just going to be adding in just a little is a gel consistency it has a gel consistency okay so and then uh, one last thing that I'll be adding into this recipe is strawberry fragrance. So you need your strawberry fragrance, okay? So that you can have this, you know, sumptuous, beautiful, and sweet fragrance, okay? So um, now what I'm going to do before adding in my fragrance, I'm going to stir very, very well, okay? To make sure that everything is... Um, everything incorporate properly before adding in my strawberry so guys you see how thick it is okay this is how thick this is right now because i didn't use too much oils and too much concentrate and too much serum if you add in too much concentrate and too much serum like i promise you your pink lip balm is just going to separate i have experienced that before and i know how it is so just you know just follow up my instruction and you will make a very great uh, product and i also say in bulk in case you are, you are interested you want to buy in wholesale and resell yeah i also say in bulk okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is to add in my strawberry fragrance so now i'm going to use the cover to measure it because this strawberry fragrance is very very good and it smells so nice like this is the original one and when you are buying your strawberry fragrance please I don't know if it has fake just be careful i have like three different type of strawberry fragrance at home like this is the best if i add in a little it's just you know it just bring it to life it gives it this strawberry um scent all right so that is what i need i don't need too much okay so wow the scent is so nice so guys next thing i want to add in is my pink um color okay so Please, if you are buying your pink color, try to buy good one because there are some that you buy and after adding it into your pink lip balm, after a while it will change color. 
so that type of colorant or color is not original so try your best to get good one this is how it is it's like a green color or something like a very dark green so after you add you miss it it's just going to give you this you know this pinkish color so now this is a special tip from me if you want to make pink lip balm and you want to add color into your cream please do not add the color directly into your cream like don't just pour the powder inside all you need to do get a beaker get distilled water don't use uh, tap water or any unclean water get a distilled water okay so here is my distilled water i'm going to be adding in just a few drops like very very little i don't need much this is enough and then the next thing i'll be doing is taking my color i'll just take a pitch of my color i don't have one here. okay so i'll just take a pitch a pinch don't know how to speak english or back my tongue not the raised way so i'll just take a pinch of my color and then i will add it into my water so see how quickly it has dissolved see how quickly it dissolves see how it is so if you add it in directly to your cream it might not dissolve very well and then you might not be able to trace it okay so if you add it in directly it might be too much definitely it's going to be too much because you won't be able to trace it you won't be able to know the quantity you should add into it so all you need to do is just to mix it with water just like so then you use your spoon to take a little add it into your um your promise cream and then you mix together so that's how you're going to keep on doing it until you get your desired color so just in case you add it in, into your your cream and you see that the color that you want is not is the color you are getting is not what you want then you can easily go in and add more but for example you just pour in your your color um powder into your pink clip you won't be able to trace it you won't be able to reduce it already you've already added it into it and you've mixed it together so it will just run your your products you can see how beautiful it looks so i'm still going to add in a bit of color because the color i'm getting right now is not what i want so and then i'm still going to stir again like after two days you can use this pink clip two to three times a day like after two days hmm, your lip don't pink oh you don't pink sharp sharp no wasting of time don't pink <laughs> so this is how it looks like at the moment so now there's something i need to let you guys know before you apply this on your lip please check the ph level very important very very important don't say ah i'm using it on my lip why do i need to check the ph your lip is also part of your skin you know so all of these things matters a lot don't just you know don't just apply it directly on your lip without you checking the ph level it's very very much important too because if you don't do it that way it might irritate the lip and you know that lip are very very soft and very very tender so you need to protect your lip please you need to protect your lip and if you don't know how to check the ph level of your product check a video on youtube there are so many videos on youtube on how to check the ph level of your product and that will also guide you through okay so this is how it looks like right now and the ph level of this should be around 4.5 okay around 4.5 to 5 um to 5 yeah so this is how it looks like you guys can see how thick it is very thick um i think lip balm is ready this is how it looks like at the moment it looks so pretty the color is very very good and then the consistency is super great so this is the consistency i wanted and i got it so please be very very careful with what i've explained already i believe um you can you know just do your own experiment and just go through the 
instruction and then you will get a very good effective pink lip balm and also i want to let you guys know just in case you want to check the ph level of your uh pink lip balm and you don't have um ph um tester do not use ph strips but if you want to use ph strips please i don't know if i'm pronouncing the strips whatever if you want to use the strips make sure that you you don't have the color make sure you check the ph of your pink lip balm first before adding in the color if not you're just going to change the color of your ph strips and you will be able to trace the um, the number so it's best to use um ph meter if you have one but if you don't make sure you check the ph level first before adding in your pink color okay so i hope um you understand what i'm saying and if you know that you have watched this video to this point please don't forget to give your, your girl a like subscribe share and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now